Can you believe it? It is another update in content creation AI news. Pika, the platform where you can animate photos with just a prompt, has just outdone themselves again. I'm not even gonna really talk about it. I'm just gonna show you. First of all, Pika has been incredible. And I actually think it's one of my favorite platforms to do all of this AI content creation and animation. You have Runway, you have a few others, but Pika has always given it, given me just a little bit more of what I wanted. Now, the cool thing is, is they just announced their platform. And let's just take a look. <laughs> Yeah, Let, let's just kind of look at this again for a second. Um, all of this stuff right here is, a lot of it is exactly what, you know, what Pika did. They allowed you to make an animation, so you'd give them a picture of this raccoon and that in the background. You'd say animate, and it would basically give you this back. It's pretty incredible. Now, when you get to about here... This is where some of the other platforms did a little, little bit better, but um, you can expand, you can scale, you can, you can turn it into a real video, like a more photorealistic raw video. That's pretty amazing. You have the different styles that you can use, which is pretty amazing. This is something that we've gotten used to with generative fill or generative expand in Adobe Photoshop. Uh, now it's coming to video. I'm pretty sure that it's going to also come to you in uh, Adobe Premiere Pro. This is pretty much what I believe. I have a feeling that might be what this is using. I don't know if there's an API that they're using from Adobe, but this is what uh, they've pretty much shown us that it's going to be able to do. Uh, here, right here is something really cool where we're used to these one by ones in uh, AI photos and video, but now, you know, that you wanna do more cinematic work, you can go vertical, you can get it into 16.9, which is pretty incredible. Uh, now, this is pretty neat. This right here is something they showed us at the Adobe uh, Live, I believe it was at Adobe Max, where you can be playing a video and literally dragging a box over this image and giving them something different to wear which is unbelievable. The, the amount of time, just think about uh, the rotoscoping of this shot. Think about the motion tracking of this shot. Think about all of that. Uh, that's pretty enormous. Uh, right here's another thing right here. This is something that we've seen in, fo in Photoshop where you can add glasses to a still image, but then to make it move and being able to track that and just do anything that you want. That is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Uh, I, I just don't even know what to say. A lot of people are just going to watch this and think it's going to come to their Discord channel because ultimately you use, you use Pika on their Discord channel. You, you, um, you go to Discord, you download their bot, and then you then you upload a picture or you type what you want to see and then the bot gets it back to you. A lot of uh, anybody who has understood how to work with Midjourney would know a little bit about this. But uh, this is really cool because you I, I don't know if you, you are going to need Discord. I think it's going to potentially work similar to Runway from what it looks like. But it's not just going to come to their Discord channel. You actually have to go to pika.art and log in and then sign in with Google right here. And you'll get put on the wait list. And bam, you're on the wait list. So if it is something that you want to do, 
I would suggest going to it now because you know that there's going to be so many people who want to get a hold of this and want to use it for whatever reason, even if you're just curious. If you're not, to be one of the first people that get to use this and maybe even use it on other people's projects. If you're doing something where you're selling your services, to be able to have this at your disposal is absolutely enormous. So uh, again, it is Pika and it is Pika.art. Uh, you're, if you're used to, um, here, I'll, I'll go right here into Discord as well. I'm going to go into Discord here also. So this is Discord. It talks about right now. Uh, it's um, right here. It's talking about how they're excited to release the platform. Pika is an AI video platform that allows anyone to do state-of-the-art video foundational model and creation product that effortlessly and accessible. Oh, Pika's it, it, like right here, uh, it looks like... Um, it looks like that is more of a platform than what Discord is. So it's, again, th this is unbelievable. I just think everybody's going to want to do this. Uh, at least just get on the wait list and figure that out. I had to get this out right away because uh, I'm just so excited for everybody to use it. And anybody who's watching this, uh, I'd like just get on the wait list because these wait lists for the betas or for even just being able to use this at all, they only let so many people in at a time and you want to be in early. This was announced hours ago. It was announced today. So um, if you're watching this another day, uh, it was announced previous to whatever day that it's there. Congratulations. There you go. Have it. Sign up. Uh, yes, please.